have tonight's What's Working, and it involves internships. Here's Devin Walsh. And then transfer it over, just kind of like that. USA cancer researcher Dr. Ash Prakash wants to get young people interested in research. Watch what I do the first time. And she's invited St. Luke's senior Kate Simons to be her intern. It really excites me to see them excited about the smallest little things that I forgot were exciting. And then when I see the light in her eyes and say, oh, this is so cool, it makes my day that much better. She's got one. Even though she's just a teenager, Simon says after a few months in the lab, she knows cancer experience. research is what she wants to do with her life. It's kind of given me um, a window into what I might want to study in college, so it's given me a little bit of an accelerated start. High school interns are also getting great experience on the clinical side at Mitchell Cancer Institute. Dr. Thomas Butler has two students who say they've been able to jump right in. On well, my first day coming in, I got to, you know, shadow with a patient, and I got to see him do a breast examination and find tumors, and that really blew my mind. It's opening my eyes, and it's giving me new experiences, and really helping develop exactly what I want to do in the medical field. Not only do the students have a chance to shadow a physician, but they also have an opportunity to have their research published. One intern presented his research at a national conference. I've been extremely impressed with how they can independently work on some of these projects even, and come up with excellent data. There's a shortage of oncologists and cancer researchers in the U.S. And doctors here at Mitchell Cancer Institute say steering students into science early is a way to eventually bring them into the field. It's kind of stuck. <laughs> For What's Working, I'm Devin Walsh.